Right guys, I wanted to talk to you today about self-discipline because it's a bit of a myth that is, um, I see in a lot of Facebook posts, personal training things, all, all sorts of positive motivational speak stuff, which actually probably demotivates a lot of people subconsciously because you don't have to be motivated to get shit done and you don't have to be um, taught discipline when you were a kid in order to be disciplined now. You know, discipline is a choice. It's something that you choose to be. It's not something that you have to have in you. It's something that you have to learn to do. And it's as simple as that. So a lot of these things that, you know, to, try to teach you to be motivated to do stuff. You know, sometimes there's going to be things you want to do that you just cannot get motivated for, you know, because you just don't want to do them. If you're, you know, five stone overweight and you love eating and you've been told by the doctor that you're going to have to lose some weight, otherwise you're going to have health complications. That's not going to necessarily mean that you're going to want to lose weight and stop eating. Um, <clears throat> junk food or whatever, you know, but you're going to have to do it. So trying to get motivated to do something like that is really not going to work. So stop trying to kid yourself about that. Start looking a little bit more inwards at what you're taking responsibility for within yourself, which is that actually you're not choosing to be disciplined. So you can look at that in a lot of different ways. I mean, you, for example, you can look at the way that, the language that you use, you know, like a lot of people would say, you know, if only I could do this or I wish that it was as easy as, as, as it for me as it is for them. But the only reason it isn't is because you choose for it to not be, you know. So the problem with this is it's drip fed all the time because you've got all these things. You know, when you when you search through Facebook, it's ridiculous. It's to the point where I, I hardly ever want to go on Facebook because of all the shit that you see, because there's so much misinformation and things that actually don't do any good for anybody whatsoever. They're just jargon or, you know, just um, moon speak almost, which. Um, I think you've got to bring it inward. You've got to get it in here. It's not, you don't want to be looking to be motivated to reach your goals. You don't want to look at being um, everything, you know, coming along for you and working, you know, getting uh, sort of stars of aligned and then all of a sudden you can just go out there and realise that your potential it doesn't work like that. You've got to think, right, this is where I'm at in my life at the moment and I'm not quite happy with this particular thing that, I, that I'm doing at the moment. So what would I rather do? What would be better for me? And then, the, this is part of the problem we have because we don't want to specify that because then we've specified the conditions of failure. So we try and stop ourselves from from saying to ourselves, this is what we this is what I need to do. I've got to get this done. And that's what leads to procrastination and, and us sort of not getting on with it and feeling like we need some divine spark in order to get us motivated. You don't need that at all. You know, I have realized sort of over time, I think, not only of working with clients, but with myself as well that motivation is not really an issue in in a lot of areas of life it's just making a decision to do it and doing it and then you feel motivated as a result of that i don't know if you've ever had something where you leave a shit ton of bills or something or a load of paperwork or an essay or something like that to the last minute and then when you finally get it done you feel motivated to do it's like you look around like what else can i do what else can i get done that's where i think motivation comes from and I think that discipline is not something that is necessarily born into you or taught to you as a child. Like I say, it's, it's a choice. So you need to understand that and you've got to stop trying to fucking talk yourself out of it. It's like, OK, I need to do 10 minutes more work every single day because at the moment I'm sitting on YouTube too much. Right. This is a real situation from somebody I was speaking to earlier. You know, and this guy was saying to me, you know, I've. Um, if only I could get an extra hour's work done a day, as though it was going to magically happen somewhere along the line, someone was going to come along and do it for him. But what was really interesting to me is this guy's really got his shit together in loads of other areas of his life. And he's had to work to do that. It's not something that he's just naturally happened to him. Do you know what I mean? He's had to actually work. He's had to figure out what was causing me problems in relationship. How do I take ownership for the bits that I was doing wrong rather than blaming my partner for it and things like that? And by doing that, he's actually improved his relationship. He's, impro he's improved his relationship with his children. He's improved his relationship with himself. And he's overlooked all of that because this thing at work, with, with his work, is not going quite how he wants it to go. So we were sort of exploring today about how he could look at the other areas of his life that he's improved. He doesn't necessarily improve them because he's wanted to improve them as such. He's done it because he knows that it's going to be better in the long run. And that's been motivation enough to do the things that he wanted to do. So that's what I'm saying, you see, like using the word motivation, you've just got to be careful because I don't think it necessarily comes in the way that a lot of these like slogans are telling you it does. And that can ultimately demotivate you. Then you see, you know, people out there on social media doing all the things you want to do, thinking that, oh, God, why can't I be like them? And it's a further thing to, to, to push you in the ground. So 
it's a choice. You've got to remember that, all right? And just do what you can with it. I mean, I would say, like, look at the areas of your life that you're not happy in. Think about where you would like to be with them. And then maybe, like, sort of just narrow it down a little bit more and think, okay, well, where can I start then? What could I possibly do that might make me feel a little bit better tomorrow? And then you just keep aiming to be the best that you can be within that set, certain parameter that you've set. And then you move the parameter again. And, you, you know, you keep going like that. So you choose. You don't necessarily want to do it. You know, an anorexic person isn't necessarily going to want to eat, you know. But if they don't eat, then eventually they're going to be very um, unhealthy. So it's a case of looking at what will be better for me and then working towards that. That will give you the impetus of feeling a little bit better, which will kind of feel like the feeling of motivation, which would then push you to do more and more and more. Yeah. So it doesn't start with you feeling like some divine energy is in you and you've got to get up and, you know, and all that. It's just a case of, look, this, this sucks. This would be a little bit better. I've defined what I'm going to do to do that because now I'm not afraid of failing because I know that if I do fail, all I'm going to say to myself is that just means that this is hard and I'll try again tomorrow. Like you should do with your kids, you know, you don't want to be doing too much for your kids. And on top of everything else, you want to, if they make a mistake, you just want to try and help them identify where they went wrong and then try and help them figure out where they'll do it better next time. That'll promote a spirit of growth, which is exactly what you want in yourself. You know, if you've got a boss it's giving you shit all the time because your, your figures are low or whatever, you're not going to want to do a lot of work from. It's not going to inspire you to do more for them. And that's the way you've got to learn how to talk to yourself. It's like, right, I'm going to figure out the parameters that will make me feel a little bit better because I've identified that I need to find a better job or I need to do more work or I need to study harder. Whatever it is that you know because your conscience is giving you a hard time because you're not doing it, that's the message to listen to. You crack on with it. You do your best that you possibly can with it and you aim to make yourself the best within that scenario. You know, I mean, a good example um, in Ant Middleton's book, um, which I thought was really good, was he came out of the army. Um, he was, you know, like a sort of all action hero, SAS guy. And he's come back out um, into sort of normal life, couldn't cope with it that well, didn't really have, feel like he had much of a purpose in certain ways. Um, it all kicks off in a pub one night. Long story short, he ends up in prison uh, for a few months and, his attitude towards that was, I'm going to be the best inmate I can possibly be. I'm now an inmate. It doesn't matter whether or not the guy that I punched was out of order. I'm an inmate. How can I be the best possible inmate? Took every possible job that he could find on. Tried to be there for other people. Taught people stuff. You know, um, motivated other people by his experiences to help them. You know, and stuff like that. So there's a lot of... I think there's a lot of um, value in that. There's a lot of value in looking at your situation and thinking rather than moan about it and think this is the worst that could possibly happen to me, moan, moan, moan. It's like, get on with it. Like, figure out what it is that you can do next that's going to make you slightly more of an improved human being and fucking crack on with it. Get going. Do it as best you can. If it's 10 minutes a day of extra work, it's 10 minutes a day. Do that for a week. Add another 10 before you know it. Give it a month. You're doing 40, 40 minutes extra work a, a, a week. You know, a day, sorry, you know, and that is the way to build up because that, that way you're not setting yourself up with this massive like target to reach that you keep beating yourself up for and you can't find the motivation because um, it doesn't really exist to begin with. It, it happens as a result of either being inspired, maybe or like I was talking about with Ann Middleton or you inspiring yourself by cracking the fuck on, you know, best way, best way. Um, so, yeah, don't be afraid to fail. Be kind to yourself if, if it doesn't work out the way that you planned. Maybe, you know, don't feel afraid to edit your parameters that you've decided. Don't be afraid to ask for help. You know, if you feel like you need a little bit of support with it, um, you know, you feel like you need somebody there to sort of encourage you that you can get this done and it's going to be fine. Don't be afraid to speak to people about it. Don't be afraid to reach out for help. and Don't be afraid to change. All right. You can do this. You got this.